Hi, my name is Matt. I'm one of the team members on the product team here at Wearlight. And in a second here, we're gonna give you a brief overview on one of our new products. Well, today I wanna to talk about our new Quasar, uh, third generation parking lot area lights. Um, we have some stuff here on the table we're gonna go through. Uh, this is going to be the standard version, which is this housing, and it is available in 100 watt and 150 watt and it's gonna have one set of uh, LEDs. This one here is going to be 300 watt. That's why you'll see it has the two sets um, of LEDs. Now, this fixture is gonna be available in 5,000K uh, for all of our wattages. Some wattages may be available in 4,000K. Um, check for availability if that's something that you're interested in. Um, this fixture is gonna come with a couple standard things. So what you'll see here is an adjustable slip fitter. Um, this is gonna be meant to go over a two and three eighths inch diameter pole. It has an Allen bolt here in the middle that you can loosen. This is serrated, so you can make adjustments. Um, it does have degree indicators on here. So if you're gonna put this on a bullhorn or you're gonna put it on a wall mount bracket um, on a wall, it gives you that adjustability to make the aim. Um, they're all gonna come standard with this twist lock receptacle. Um, the fixture is gonna come with this black shorting cap. So this is gonna be inside the box in the styrofoam. Um, we've made a little cutout in the styrofoam from the top so you can see it, but make sure when you're installing this um, that you put this in. We do get some calls on occasion that you put a new fixture in and it doesn't work. It's because they forgot the, full, uh, the shorting cap. So we want to make sure you do that. It's real simple to install. It is um, notched. It's had certain notches on here that only line up one way. And you're going to line it up with the top of this. And then you're just going to push it in. And you are going to twist it and turn it. So what this is going to do is this is going to keep the light on all the time. So this grounds the contacts inside and connects them. Um, so the light stays on all the time. If you want to get something to control this during the uh, evening, so it only comes on at night, then you'd need to buy this uh, optional twist lock photo cell. So it's very simple. You would just twist this and release this. This goes on the same way. You're just going to put this on the top, find the notches to line up, and this is, goes on real tight. And one of the reasons you'll notice is um, obviously you want to maintain its waterproof and integrity. So this has got a gasket on the bottom. But now when you mount this light, it's got a window on here and it's gonna pick up the sunlight. So when the sun comes out, this will go off and it'll only come on at night. That's gonna save you on your energy bills. Um, some municipalities may give you um, extra money on rebates potentially, um, no matter what, it's gonna save you money if you have a photo cell. So it's very simple. Um, other options that we have for this um, are going to be a square round pole mount bracket. So this is gonna come with all the hardware you need um, to swap this one out. So you'd remove the Allen bolt on the housing and pull that out and then you're going to pull it through here and attach it and this has a side plate on it with four screws so you'll pull your wire through you make your terminations in here put the plate back on if you have a square pole you would use part of this if you're using a round pole there's a round insert that's actually going to go on the pole so it would fit a square and a round pole if you'd like to put something on the wall and you wanted to wall mount this this is an adjustable wall mount bracket um, it's going to come with tapcon hardware to put into the wall to attach the bracket. And then the same thing, you're gonna take this Allen bolt out on the fixture, you're gonna tighten it in here, you have your adjustability, and then you can put this on a wall. Now when it comes to optics on these, uh, there's a type three distribution and a type five distribution. So the type three is gonna be for if you're lighting from the outside of a parking lot in. So the light's gonna be more flat off the back, and then it's gonna come out and it's gonna be arced forward. So it's gonna push the light out into the parking lot, not much light going backwards. If you go with a type five, that's gonna have pretty much equal light side to side and front to back and more of a square pattern. So if you're putting lights down a center island in a parking lot and there's cars parking up against that island, you'd want a type five to get light going all the directions. And then around the perimeter facing in, you'd want type three. These fixtures are dimmable. They do come with a hot neutral ground lead and they also come with the dimmable leads as well if you wanted to operate these on a dimmer. Um, one side note on the dimming leads, if you are not going to dim it, they do come with rubber caps on the end of the leads. Make sure these stay capped off and they're insulated um, because this can cause a product failure if these are not insulated properly. Okay, so what I've done here is I've put a test cord on this fixture just so we can plug it into the wall to see how it operates. 
Um, obviously it doesn't come with a cord and plug. This is meant to be hardwired. So this is just for demonstration purposes. Now I did put the photo cell in here and that's why it's picking up the lighting in the room and that's why the light is not on. And what I'll do is I'll cover this photoelectric eye and the light should come on. Now typically a photo cell may take anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. This one's pretty quick. So as you can see, that's what's gonna happen at night. Um, it's gonna come on automatically. And then we'll give this here a few seconds to pick up the light on the ceiling again. And it should go off, like I said, in 15 to 30 seconds. But this is really gonna be a nice energy saver. So, um, you know, this option is typically meant for parking lot lighting, area lighting. Um, you know, some people try to call this a floodlight. The optics on these fixtures in the Type 3 and Type 5, um, they're really not meant for a floodlight application. These are meant more just for a parking lot or an area light um, with light directed down. Uh, a floodlight usually has a tighter beam and it's gonna be more concentrated. So if you put something like this with this type of optic and you put it on a wall and you try to aim it, um, you're gonna lose a lot of light going straight up into the sky. So it's not really recommended. We'd have a line of floodlights that we could look at as well that uh, range in different wattages to get you something like that if you need. So um, yeah, there's a great fixture. Um, it's got uh, built-in surge protection um, inside the fixture as well as the driver has a surge built into it as well. So there's an external surge protector in the driver housing. Um, quality fixture, uh, we've been selling something like this. Um, we've changed some generations on it to make it a little bit more uh, smaller design. It makes it a little bit easier for the smaller wattages which are more popular to install because it's a little, uh, a little less weight. So another thing you can do is if you wanted with some of these other mounts is you could mount this on the wall, get everything plumb, and then you could attach the bracket to the fixture um, if that wants to help you for install. But um, nice heat sink on the back. It's got deep, deep heat sink, so shouldn't have any problem with any type of overheating issue. Uh, good quality fixture. As always, if you ever have any questions on a product that you may see on our website or something that you might uh, not see on our website that you're looking for, you can always contact us toll free at 888-454-4480 or you can reach out to our sales staff and talk to an account manager at sales at warehouse, W-A-R-E-H-O-U-S-E hyphen lighting, L-I-G-H-T-I-N-G dot com. Um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in to watch today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So every time that you uh, want an update to see what we're putting out for new product and content, you'll get that right away. Um, thank you very much. Have a great day.